What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwa. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. Now, what you're seeing here is Numidius, which is named after the Numidian from Skyrim, if you're not familiar. And uh, I'm not going to even explain what the Numidian was, because I want you guys to go out and actually do some research, or you can enlighten your counterparts here and uh, type in what you know of the Numidian. I watch way too many lore videos. Even though I'm not a really big Skyrim fan, I was a really extremely big Oblivion fan. Skyrim just doesn't tickle my fancy, and so I really just watch the lore of Skyrim, and I play a little bit of it, but I usually stick I usually stick with Fallout 4. If you're wondering what I'm doing in Fallout 4, check out these pictures. Because those pictures are there's a mod you can get that lets you build your own settlements. And uh, unless you build up to 10 of your own settle settlements, that is my crowning achievement. On the inside, it looks even more beautiful. I'm still a work in progress. Each room is cordoned off, and it looks just, it looks amazing. <laughs> but that's the outside of the building, and uh, it is badass. <laughs> Defense off the chain, isolated in the water. And it's taking me hours to get that to the point to where it's even livable. And I'm probably going to go back to playing that after I record this, so I'm just saying. <laughs> well, let's go and try to take this beast out so you can actually see what all it entails. It is, is a massive craft. And you can see we have the... it's supposed to be counter-rotating. Okay, yes, they are counter-rotating. So that should counter... that should... um stop any of the, the the Magnus effect that people were screaming about last time because uh, you want them to be rotating so that way it's not just spinning itself and destroying itself so yes <laughs> I mean I can actually go here and um, I can reverse it and you'll see that's actually I don't know why my brain's just like not accepting the rotation. I just took a bunch of headache stuff. My God! But yes, I can I can change the rotation, and that's what I needed to do. So one's going clockwise, and the other's going counterclockwise. All right, let's go ahead and see if this beast is even going to make it to space. It's it's slightly big, and it's off the the launch pad, and the last time it tipped over. And it was terrifying. All right, let's go. All right, it loaded. It does take a while for this thing to load. Hopefully, those will hold for me. Oh, God. Okay, so that's being held up by these staging clamps. Oh, the stability clamps. I know they won't hold forever. So we kind of need to do this the second we get back upright. All right, here we go. Lift off. Full throttle. Oh, God. Oh, a little bit to the side, but we are okay. We actually want to be a little bit to the side. That is perfectly okay. We just need to keep going upwards now. Oh, that's the scariest part of this liftoff is sometimes parts will uh, get a little loose. And, uh, and those parts will cause a little trouble. Uh, auto strut enabled. Oh, I'm so glad I can do that right now. Okay, so... We're still in a little bit of trouble. Uh, <laughs> but a lot of these parts are from various mods. I have a lot of mods installed, and it's taken all these to get this craft into, into going upwards towards an orbit. Um, as far as our gravity turn, we're not going to be able to do it until really late, because this aircraft is not exceptionally stable. But... I think we should be okay. We have a decent angle right now. And 
I'm pretty sure that these solid boosters will get me beyond the upper atmosphere because these are huge solid boosters that come with another mod that I have installed and I can't remember the name of it right now. Are these the MRS? No, the STS Space Shuttle SRB. So these are rather massive. They have a lot of fuel in them and you can see we have a lot of resources going for us right now. Solid fuel is burning up quick though. Okay, so I want to start to do a bit of a turn with this thing, so here we go. These things also can, they can also have a bit of vector to them, which is fantastic, because that way I can, um, I can not worry about my SRBs just going straight forward. All right, it's looking good so far even though we're, we're kind of falling over a little bit falling over a little bit we need to ease up on that <laughs> until we can get further out oh god everything right now is going so slow frames per second is abysmal at this point but we are doing pretty good we are airborne we are doing our gravity turn and hopefully hopefully this mustache will stop itching my nose it's not much of a mustache but it's enough to tickle my nose alright looking good looking good it's gonna be a weird orbit All right, still looking good. Oh man, this is actually going a lot better than the last time. <laughs> the last time was horrible. I didn't record the last one, but it was a pretty terrible uh, liftoff. Everything just fell apart. And so I had to add in more struts, more stability. Uh, and I had to just keep going with the struts and stability. All right, we can get rid of these extra boosters now, huh? They're almost spent. All right, yeah, we can get rid of them. All right, easy. Oh, dear God. Oh, okay, our engines are still okay. All right. So... Let's get ourselves flattened out. And we're going up to around 100. There we go, 100 meters. All right. So we're good there. And now I just want them to go prograde. Woo! Now, on the back here, what you're seeing, these are massive double sized uh, uh, ports for monoprop. They are our lifeblood right now for maneuvers until we can ditch this lifter. And these are, I can't even click on them right now. My frames are that low at this point. <laughs> All right, but it's handling it pretty well. I'm surprised because it is actually just way too big of a lifter I should have ditched a lot of the fuel on my way up a lot of the fuel tanks that would have kept me pretty light on my way up but I didn't and so I don't think it's going to be able to maneuver me properly right now alright so this is what we're going to do a little time warp bring it back down that's going to stop my spin I know some people feel that's kind of cheaty but I don't care, it works beautifully every time. All right, so even with the double powered uh, <laughs> ports, we are not doing so hot right now. We are burning through a lot of electrical charge, but we have a ton of monoprop right now. I don't want to, whoa, whoa, that was a lot of everything. Alright, so it's totally not doing what I wanted to do. 
All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna do this my way. <laughs> All right, come on. Stop spinning, you son of a gun. We're about where we want to be, actually. Because once we get up there, once we get up to around a hundred or ninety-eight, we can kick on our full thrusters, and hopefully that'll give us enough to uh, make this happen. We're good right there. All right, I'm a quick save in case I flub this terribly. And we're gonna kick on a little boosters right now. We're going pro grade with a little boost. Getting up to 50%. All right, that's going to control us. We have the control. All right, full burn. Hopefully this will work. All right, all right, here we go. Hopefully this is going to be enough, enough boost to get us going. And I want to hold this right here, actually. Hopefully this is going to work. Okay, so our periapsis is rising quickly. For everyone that's out there saying there's no way this is going to work, it's working so far, and I'm, I'm. This is why also why I pushed it up to a hundred, because I was pretty sure that I needed as much wiggle room as possible for this, and if I didn't have that wiggle room, then we were going to be in severe trouble. So I pushed it up to 100 because that's a good stable orbit and also it keeps me far enough away so I'm not going to run into very much trouble except for the fuel issue which we are quickly running out of fuel. But I think we have just enough for this to work. All right, we are, our periapsis is dropping to under 200 or rising to, it's rising up to 200. All right, we continue rising. We're looking really good right now. And come on, get me into the positives. Get me into the positives. We're in the positives. All right, so I want this to get out to 75. I can kill it right there, okay. Woo! <laughs> that is a thing of beauty. We're gonna kill. All right, I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of this. These boosters. So what I want to do. I want to check my supply up here. I can't click on. I can't click on anything right now. Okay, so we're gonna ditch. We're actually gonna ditch these. This fuel, these extra fuel tanks, they're not going to do us much good right now. All right, quick saving. Get everything out of here, and ditch. Ding dong, ditch. All right. So we kind of need to uh, lift ourselves away from this monstrosity lifter. Come on. Oh, the front doesn't want to lift away, huh? That might be a little concerning. Um, holy crap. All right. Uh, that can stop. And now let's push ourselves away from all this. Holy crap. Okay. So we are kind of clear. And that's our... <laughs> this is the Numidian. This is Numidius. I should say, rather. And let's get Numidius facing forward here. So let's go back prograde. Wow! Hopefully it has the maneuverability. 
how's our electric charge looking dropping quickly so we need to actually get our solar panels out and extend all giant size solar panels for the win hopefully our solar power our energy generation there it goes skyrocketing back up perfect absolutely perfect and the Numidius has risen it, it, it can't quite find its way where it's supposed to go at the moment it's almost to prograde it's almost prograde uh, and come on it's almost there okay so we are prograde we have a ugly orbit but we have enough boost to correct this so I'm gonna turn those engines on no 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 do not burn anything yet oh. <laughs> we need to get out by frames per second have are just doing dreadful right now let's get away from all this mess okay Woo! well that was certainly interesting let's give you a good view of Numidian this is it right here turn on all of our lights oh <laughs> that is awesome that is awesome <laughs> Do this, does this thing have any lights on it hey you you no lights no lights Lame. all right get that out of here so that's how you launch a ginormous aircraft into orbit. That's how you do it. That was absolutely terrifying at some points, but I was pretty confident in the design. I was really confident that it would actually make it to orbit, and I knew it had just enough fuel to make all that work. So the Numidian is, of, is in orbit. I just have to fix the orbit a little bit, a few uh, burns you see we have a ton of fuel tanks on here so we do have quite a bit of fuel that's going to help us make this happen but that is a massive launch and the numidius has risen that is freaking cool Woo! that was difficult Building that was difficult. I love looking at the counter spinning centrifuges, except for right now it's not counter spinning. One is not, and I think I messed that up. That was my fault. Unless it just keeps reversing itself. Okay. There we go. I think I keep screwing that up, to tell you the truth. I'm having one of those days. All right. So, wow. That was cool. Yeah, you got one spinning this way, the other one spinning that way. You don't want them both to spin the same direction because then you technically would turn your craft and spin it. But there you go. Wow. It is up and it is it is doing absolutely dreadful frames per second wise. But it looks pretty badass once you look at it from the top here. And that is my weekend achievement. <laughs> now, if you missed the weekend stream, we actually did a weekend stream. I teamed up with a friend, and we did a weekend uh, dark multiplayer stream, and it was a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, pause is pause player. She's getting used to uh, Kerbal Space Program, and I w we're trying to do this monthly. We're going to try to tag team monthly uh, co-op to see if we can get her more versed in Kerbal Space Program. Because right now, she's still learning. It's And you know how the game has quite a nice learning curve to it. So, that being said, we're kind of we're kind of coming together. And we're showing her how to do it all. And I'm just trying to get a good view of this, air, of this spacecraft here. And... Um, we're hoping, like I said, we're hoping to do it monthly to get get together and do a little dark multiplayer and show her how the game goes, how to play, and and the fun that she can have. She got off the ground with her first airplane. She was ecstatic, and um, she is definitely anticipating coming back and doing it again. But for now, 
I'm going to get on out of here, and I'll probably catch you guys on the Wednesday stream. What I'm going to try to do is try to stream on Wednesday, and we'll see how well the Wednesday streams work out for me, because usually that's my dead day. There's nothing going on. So hopefully we can do that, and um, yeah, I guess we'll see how this goes. Once again, thank you all for joining me, and until the next time, I hope to catch you guys in the next video. And this has been your boy, Jaswan, and I'm out. Peace. I gotta fix the guy's jetpack so that way I know they're not gonna fly off into the nowhereness if I try to uh, if I try to take them around the station. That's why I didn't do it this time, to be honest. <laughs> but anyhow, that's a little later. I'll fix that. I'll get it fixed. <laughs> Peace. Eventually. <laughs> we have lifted off. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! I don't think it's gonna do a barrel roll. Oh, we need to get higher into the air before we try that. Oh my god.